Hi. If you hit this button, it's probably because you're feeling pretty bad. So we're going to take the few, a few minutes, the next few minutes, and breathe together. So I want you to just listen to my voice and see if you can take some breaths with me. And Violet's here too. She's behind me sleeping, as you can see. So we're going to just start by inhaling and exhaling. And we'll just start with the belly. And all you're going to do is inhale through your nose if you can. And out your nose if you can. And if not, use your mouth. That's fine. So we're just going to start with a count of three. So inhale, two, three, through the nose. And exhale, two, three. Inhale. Inhale, two, three. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three. And see if you can do that on your own right now for a few breaths. And if you want, put your hand on your belly and just inhale. Okay, now we're going to expand it. So this time inhale, let your belly come out and you can feel it push out against your hand. And then take a few counts up into the ribs so you feel your ribs front and back expand. And then you exhale, the ribs release. And then you push out all the air so the abdomen or the belly comes in towards the spine. So you're inhaling, the belly fills. And then the ribs. And then exhale. The ribs collapse slightly and the belly pulls in towards the abdomen. So it's two parts. Inhale, the belly fills like a balloon. Up into the ribs. Exhale. And all the air comes out. So do that to the count of five. Inhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And try that a few times on your own. Change the duration if you need to. And you can also put your hands on your ribs if you want. And as you breathe, just imagining your body opening and softening with each breath. Make sure you push out all that air at the bottom of the exhale. Good. So the next inhale, same thing. The belly's going to come out as you inhale like a balloon. The breath comes up into the ribs. And then take the breath all the way up into the upper chest. And take another few breaths, sorry, um, counts there. And then exhale. The chest collapses. The ribs come in, collapse, and the belly comes towards the spine, pushes all the air out. So let's try that for seven. Inhale, three, four, through the ribs, six, up the chest, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the air's out. Inhale, the belly first. Now try that on your own. You could have one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. So these are full, complete three-part breaths. Just find your own pace here for a minute or two. Allowing the mind to focus on the inhale and the exhale. That's all we're doing. 
just breathing together. So the next part of this is to keep breathing. And this time I want you to see if you can open up to all that's here right now. And I know a lot of you are in pain, physical or emotional pain right now. There's a lot of pain happening. And pain is uh, very real and we have to acknowledge and accept it um, first and foremost. And so to just simply meet the pain with your awareness and with your breath. That's all we're doing here. So keep on that seven part uh, breath, seven count breath. A few more and just simply allowing yourself to be with what is as much as possible. And I know that's really hard when there's pain, but if you can, again, just meeting it with tenderness and an inner sense of kindness. Towards yourself and all that you're experiencing. And the last big seven count breath and release that. So now just putting your hand back on your belly or your chest, whichever feels nice to you. And just taking some breaths at your own pace in your own way. Again, just opening to all that is happening in this moment. You might even ask yourself internally, what do I need to open to at this moment? What do I need to do to accept all that is in this moment? A really important thing I think to remember is we have pain, but when we resist it, it really turns more into suffering. Suffering being really more like this interpretations or the stories um, that we do around the pain. The pain will happen. So see if we can just meet it. Might be really strong feelings in your heart. Might be grief and sadness. Might be fear. All these things are natural. They're so natural. And see if you can, if, you, if there's any judgment towards yourself about feeling pain or anything else and see if you can even make space for that and just let that be like, almost like a, a, a cloud that's moving through. It just, it's there, but it can move. Just acknowledging it. That's judgment. But not feeding that. Coming back to the breath. Coming back to just awareness and a feeling of kindness towards yourself. So let's breathe together for one more minute. And I'm going to be putting up of all sorts of things to help you uh, through these moments that are really hard. Um, some meditation, some sound meditation, some affirmations. We'll have resources here. So stay with us. I know it is really easy to feel totally alone. And some of us are very, very alone physically. Um, but what I want to tell you is you are not alone. You can tune into me. Um with your energy, you can tune into a larger force of love that is always within you and around you, whether you call that spirit or God or energy, it is our essence, all of us. 
and we have the choice every moment to tune into that. Sometimes it works better than others, but to absorb that and to bring it deep into ourselves, into every cell of our body, into every organ, to the skeleton. So however it is that you do that, whether it's through prayer or an image, we'll have lots of different tools and ways of doing that um, in this section of SOS. So I'm with you. Violet's sleeping, but she is too. I want you to keep breathing and more is to come. We got this.